video, we're going to finish out the absolute value inequality worksheet on the CUDA software website, and I'll leave a link in the description below. In number 15, we have the absolute value of p minus 3 is less than or equal to 0. We have to isolate that absolute value first, so we're going to start by adding a positive 3 to both sides. That'll leave us with the absolute value of p is less than or equal to 3. With that, we know that this p value is either going to be less than or equal to 3, or that p value is going to be greater than or equal to a negative 3. We can rewrite this to say that negative 3 is less than or equal to p, which is less than or equal to 3. Circle the negative 3, fill that in, circle the positive 3, fill that in, and shade everything in between. For number 16, again, isolating the absolute value, we're going to do that by adding a negative 5 or subtracting 5 from both sides. That'll leave us with the absolute value of m is less than 4. That means that that quantity m is going to be less than 4, or that quantity m is going to be greater than negative 4. And we can combine those two to say that negative 4 is less than m, which is less than a positive 4. Circle the negative 4, circle the positive 4, and shade everything in between. In number 17, we're still isolating that absolute value, so we're going to start by subtracting 10 from both sides. That'll leave us with the absolute value of b minus 8 is greater than 12. That's saying that this b minus 8 is greater than 12 and or that b minus 8 is less than negative 12. Add 8 to both sides and each inequality to get that b is greater than 20 or b is less than negative 4. And these are combined using or since we're going to shade to the right of 20 and then to the left of negative 4. So b is greater than 20 or b is less than negative 4 for number 17. For number 18, we have the absolute value of x minus 4 all over 5 is less than or equal to a positive 2. We're going to start by multiplying by 5 over 1, which is simply 5. This will isolate the absolute value of x minus 4 on the left, and that's going to be less than or equal to a positive 10. So we're saying that this quantity, x minus 4, is either less than or equal to 10 and or is greater than or equal to a negative 10. Add 4 to both sides. We'll get that x is less than or equal to 14. Or x is greater than or equal to negative 6. We can rewrite this to say negative 6 is less than or equal to x, which is less than or equal to a positive 14. Graphing this, circle the negative 6, fill it in, circle the positive 14, fill it in, and then we're shading everything in between those two. And number 19, we're going to start by adding a 3 to both sides. That'll isolate the absolute value of n minus 2, and that's going to be greater than a positive 8. So we're saying that n minus 2 is greater than 8, and or n minus 2 is less than a negative 8. Add 2 to both sides to get that n is greater than 10. In the first inequality, again, we're adding 2 to both sides to get that n is less than a negative 6. So we have that n is greater than 10, or n is less than negative 6. Circle the 10, shade everything to the right, circle the negative 6, and shade everything to the left. n is greater than 10, or n is less than negative 6. And number 20, 
In order to isolate that absolute value of 3 plus r, we're going to multiply by 7 over 1, which is the same as multiplying by a positive 7. That'll give us the absolute value of 3 plus r is less than or equal to 35. That's saying that this 3 plus r is either less than or equal to 35 and or that 3 plus r is greater than or equal to negative 35. Subtract 3 from both sides in each inequality. And in the first, we'll get that r is less than or equal to 32. And in the second, we'll get that r is greater than or equal to negative 38. We can combine this and say negative 38 is less than or equal to r, which is less than or equal to a positive 32. So negative 38 falls about here. So circle, fill that in, and positive 32 falls here. Circle, fill that in, and we're shading everything in between those two points. Number 21, we're going to start by multiplying by 2 over 1. That will help us in isolating the absolute value. So we'll have the absolute value of 2 plus 3x is greater than or equal to 10. So we have that 2 plus 3x is greater than or equal to 10 and or that 2 plus 3x is less than or equal to negative 10. We're going to subtract 2 from both sides to get that 3x is greater than or equal to a positive 8 divided by 3 to get that x is greater than or equal to 8 thirds. And then in the second inequality, the same steps. Subtract 2 to get that 3x is less than or equal to negative 12. And then divide by 3 to get that x is less than or equal to negative 4. So we have that x is less than or equal to negative 4 or x is greater than or equal to 8 thirds. So we're shading to the left and we're shading to the right. So locate 8 thirds, circle, fill that in and shade to the right, and then locate negative 4, circle, fill that in and shade everything to the left. In number 22, we're going to start by subtracting 8 on both sides. That will leave us with the absolute value of 4v minus 7 is greater than or equal to a positive 9. Now we can split up the inequality and say that 4v minus 7 is greater than or equal to 9 and or 4v minus 7 is less than or equal to negative 9. Start by adding 7 to both sides in each inequality. In the first, we'll get that 4v is greater than or equal to a positive 16, and in the second, we'll get that 4v is less than or equal to a negative 2. Divide by 4. In the first inequality, we'll get that v is greater than or equal to a positive 4, and in the second, we'll get that v is less than or equal to negative one half. We're going to need to combine these using or since we're going to be shading to the right of positive four and to the left of negative one half. So find the positive four, circle, fill that in and shade everything to the right. And then we're going to locate negative one half, circle, fill that in and shade everything to the left. So V is greater than or equal to four or v is less than or equal to negative one half for number 22. And that wraps up this free worksheet under the Infinite Algebra 1 tab on the CUDA software website, Absolute Value Inequalities. Go ahead, subscribe to my channel, and give me a thumbs up for this video. And if you have any questions or need further explanation, please feel free to comment below.